Hey everyone, it's Dylan Peckis from Optimal Circadian Health, and today we're gonna to talk about detox, what you need to do, what you need to get serious about, especially with mold, heavy metals, mercury, you name it, we're gonna cover it in today's episode, so stay tuned. Hey everyone, it is Dylan here from Optimal Circadian Health. We have a little bit of change of scenery behind me and that doesn't change the fact about what we're gonna talk about here today is something critically important if you have fatigue of some nature, you have some sort of chronic illness and maybe you think it has to do with toxins or toxicities or maybe you've been told this by some lab testing, what have you, whatever that may be going on with. So. A big part of what we need to talk about is exactly what is all going on with detox, what you need to know about this. And this is critically important because this is something where a lot of people can frankly get hurt in terms of the detox is something where it's not good for them. It can cause a lot of problems or it just detoxes you of your money. So we need to be able to identify what all those big breakdowns are in not only the thinking about detox, but also what's going on inside of your body so that you can be able to have a better way of approaching this. Because if you don't, that's when you're just stuck doing lab tests after lab tests, you're slamming yourself with supplement protocols and just not really getting anywhere and having to make these crazy outlandish changes to your diet and just never being able to truly move into a space of where you have freedom from all this crap. And so this is something where you know, we got to be able to dive into this. And if you're someone who you're on a detox protocol already, you were thinking about it, maybe you've already gone through the testing and something in your past, we need to be able to clear the air on this right here, right now. And before we do dive in, you know, it's coming the medical disclaimer, this is not medical advice, not meant to treat, diagnose anything of this nature for informational purposes only. Go ahead, pause, read this. All right, now we're back to the good stuff. So in terms of when we're talking about detox, we need to be able to really understand what's going on at the core of everything. So to do that, we gotta kind of clear some things off the table here because there's a lot of crap in the way. So let's figure that out and let's bust up some big old myths here. We're gonna have a big old myth busting party. And so first part of this party is being able to understand really the, the core truth here to all of this is that, well, I guess the myth is that your body is a fragile system that needs some sort of proprietary supplement protocol, whatever, what have you. All right. That is an absolute myth. That is an absolute BS. And you'll hear the reasoning all the time. Like, oh, you know, you know, they didn't need supplements back then because the, you know, there's all these toxins and there's no magnesium in the soil now. And yes, all true, also irrelevant. Because if you were to take someone from the past and put them into a lot of these places that may give them toxins, they're going to be just fine because their body is able to naturally detox things. All right. Because you can put 100 people into a really crappy building with really bad air quality and mold and mercury light bulbs that get broken every day because that's just what they do in that building. And only a small fraction of those people are going to be affected. Why are you one of them? Why don't all 100 people get affected by all the toxins like you would? Why is it only one, three, even five out of 100 people would have that happen? And it's because your body is like the best detox thing ever. Now there's gonna be little breakdowns here and there. Doesn't mean you have to be slamming supplements all the time and doing all these dangerous therapies. You just need to be able to understand what's going on here. So in terms of your body being able to detox naturally here, we need to be able to understand the two core components to any detox. And that would be the energy to actually do this. And this is the coordination to carry it out. These are pretty much the foundational concepts of detox here because it's just like a factory you need the electricity on you need to be able to make everything's running also at the same time you need to make sure all the machinery is in place and being able to really make sure everything's able to go from point a in your body to point b the toilet bowl or sweat or 
however you're excreting things. We don't need to get personal here. You can keep that to yourself. Now, what is this directly related to? Energy, that is. This is gonna be directly tied to your body's mitochondria. You know this, I know this, eighth grade biochemistry or biology. It's the powerhouse of the cell, mom. And with this, I always want you to think that your body is just like a factory. It's a very complicated one, but it needs energy to get certain things done. And if it can't, it's not gonna power certain pathways here. So imagine like a big car plant, if it only has enough energy to you know, move tires around, it's not gonna be able to move cars around. And I'm sorry if anyone's a car engineer and I just butchered how that actually works, but you get the idea. There's a certain amount of energy available and it's gonna, going to go to the most important things first. It's gonna go first to keeping the lights on and then the other things of being able to help the factory even more, like getting a car through it, those are gonna be secondary because it's this hierarchy of demand. And so when you're not able to produce enough energy, guess what? Guess what's gonna get cut out? It's gonna be these detox pathways because your body needs to put that energy into you breathing, into you listening, being able to just be existing. Not so much living, because a lot of times you don't feel that way. But there's, an, again, a hierarchy. And detox is actually pretty low. Because think how many times people have chronic infections or chronic sort of toxins building up as well. Your body can handle it. It's not the most efficient way to go about things, but it would require more energy to get rid of it. Your body's a lot smarter than you and I, my friend. And that doesn't make any, any less miserable, however. So coming back to this sort of breakdown here. So if you don't have the energy Say you only have the energy for, we'll just say, existing, okay? But then you don't have things for, say, detox or other ascent, like other bodily functions, like good sleep, like properly regulated mood, being able to recover from exercise. All things that are good and seem like an essential part of life, but when you get down to a point of where you are just existing, those things also go out the door. The other big piece of this is the coordination of everything because in your power plants again, or car factory, you can have electricity just pumping through there, just pumping through the veins of that place. But if all the workers aren't together on the same page, then it almost doesn't matter. And so with detox, there's a lot of things that need to be fully coordinated. The most important are gonna be the liver and then your kidneys here. Okay, I'm just trying kidneys. And so what's up with these two organs? Why are they so important for detox? And so with the liver, this is essentially where things go through and then there's different compounds and chemicals attached to the thing that allow them to then enter into the bile and then out into the toilet. And that's one beautiful, beautiful detox pathway. The other one is that through the liver, different little biochemical tags onto these toxic molecules. And now it's in your bloodstream and then that's going through your kidneys and again to the toilet. Now, they should really sell detox toilets. That would be a good market capture. Think about it. Anyway, this is why when you don't have the proper coordination of things because this is a multi-step process. Toxin goes into the liver. Liver has the enzymes available to then attach these biochemical tags so that it's able to go either to bile or back to your blood and then out through your kidneys. And then even at the kidney level, it needs to, the gate needs to be open at certain components in your kidneys. And then, then it goes out. So there's a lot of steps here. All right, let's go back to the factory. Say you need five people in an assembly line. You got Chad doing the, the tires, you got you know, Sarah doing the, the windows, whatever. And they need to all do it in an order. So if like Sarah, who's the third person in this line, she's two hours late to work. And then, you know, when she gets there, oh, thank God, Sarah's here, we can keep going. And now the fifth person, Jack, for instance, now leaves, you know, work two hours early while everyone else is still there. So when you're not able to properly time these things, 
things are not going to go through the assembly line as they should. That's why this coordination is such a critical component because there needs to be this proper communication between the liver and also your gut as well. And then guess what? Guess what this needs to communicate it with? The brain and vice versa. All right. So there's a lot of things at play here, a ton. And so when you're just taking some sort of pill or a supplement, how is that going to help either of these processes? It doesn't. It may add in more substrates to detox you, but it's not giving you the energy to do something with it. It's not properly coordinating it, coordinating everything so that you can get it out the door. So if you're continuing to do like whatever proprietary blends of stuff that you're doing from people who are like, oh yeah, everything is a, everything in the world is a toxin and it's gonna kill you and that's what's causing all this chronic disease, blah, 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 blah. When that's going on, you're the person suffering because you bought that idea and haven't been able to address these principles powerfully. And when you do, the detox is not gonna be anywhere near effective and a lot of times can be very dangerous. And I say this because detox, when it's not done properly, you don't have the energy and coordination, it's just like a really, really crappy vacuum. It's gonna kick up the dirt from where your body literally said, okay, I don't know what to do this mercury. The liver is not dealing with this properly. What can we do? Oh, let's put it in fat. Let's just, yeah, let's do that. We can put it away there. And then no one's going to touch it for a while. It'll be relatively safe. It's not the best option, but it's the best that we can do right now. Okay. Why does it do that? Because if those toxins, mercury, mold, whatever, what have you, are not in fat mass, adipose tissue, they're going to go elsewhere and then severely damage how all those other things are working. Your neurons, your muscle cells, your heart, your immune system. And so when you use these detox agents, it will kick up the dirt from these fat cells in like a bad vacuum, it's not gonna be able to actually get rid of it in a way. It just kind of kicks it up and then it redistributes, which is bad. That's like the exact thing that you wanna have happening. And yes, you can do your, you know, you add your chelators into the system here, but it's not gonna grab everything. This is why people who go on these detox protocols, massive amount of side effects. And even if you have the side effects, doesn't guarantee everything's getting out or that you're causing more and more mitochondrial damage, which is effectively what happens there. And the other big piece to this is that not only in terms of the energy equation here, but I guess this is part of the energy equation, is that when we're talking about where these toxins love to go, they love fats, but your body's smart enough and puts it into fat that's inert. But here's the thing, your cells have fat membranes and then your mitochondria do as well. And then guess where these toxins will go? It will go into the membranes here and they get stuck in there in a bad way. Th those are very functional membranes and they're designed to be that way. And when you're not able to function, that's when things fall apart. So that's like the, the fundamental view because your, your body is set up to have amazing mitochondria to produce a lot of energy to power all these detox pathways and then be able to have the proper coordination to really fix that there. So as an extension, when we're thinking about, okay, detox here, you'll, you'll see certain people that be like, okay, you gotta do this organ and that organ, and it's a bunch of hogwash. And it ends up screwing people like you. And so one of the things is like your gut, oh, your gut needs to be detoxed. Of course, because that's where all the, the toxins come in and whatever other reasoning they have. No, it, it, it doesn't. Your gut does not need to be detoxed. I mean, unless you have like some literal parasitic organisms in there and you need to have them expelled. Yeah, that's a different scenario. But if you're someone with like mold, okay. Yeah, you need to be able to have a properly functioning liver, kidney access here. And then your gut needs to be able to also time that up. And just because you clean something up, just because you clean the surface of a clock here, doesn't mean you're actually winding up the gears and having it properly timed. And that's what you need to be focusing in on with your gut here. Because your gut is one of the most metabolically 
active areas of your body. Because you have the gut microbiome, you have food coming in, you have all this stuff. And those cells, those enterocytes, those are your gut cells, they're designed to be replaced every one, two, three, four, and even five days. So they're a high rate of turnover is what you would call that. And when something's turning over, it's going to have a lot more errors. And also any error in something that turns over a lot is gonna be magnified and amplified. Think of the following. It's just like when you have a car tire and say you have like a, a, like a little tear. It's not all the way popped, but it's, it's it'll get there. So if you put that tear into a car that like drives, you drive it 20 miles a week, really don't drive it anywhere, or you put it into a Daytona 500 racing car and it's just going, you know, 200, 300 miles an hour, which tire is going to explode first? The one getting used a lot. Exact same thing in your gut here. So this is why, you know, you can detox your gut all you want, but if it's not properly working, if it's not producing those cells as it should, if it's not having the right amount of tight junctions in between all of these cells, it's not gonna go anywhere. It's just gonna, it's just gonna pop like a tire and then just like that, big openings, and then this is when you have a lot of toxins accumulate and coming in from the gut. But it's like an innocent bystander at the scene of the crime. Because yes, there's toxins and they're getting in, but it's because that defect in your gut was just amplified by that high rate of metabolism there. So really, again, it's not the toxins around your gut. It is the function of the gut that then allows those toxins to accumulate. So same thing, another organ a lot of people will talk about is the brain. Oh, you need to detox your brain. Da, 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 da. Do these people not know that there's a freaking blood brain barrier? I mean, like, yes, there's going to be openings in it, but your brain is like literally something of where you could have a parasite growing in your brain and your own brain filters out your own immune systems from your brain. So like, why do you think like Joe Schmo's detox supplement is going to have a better chance of having an effect? It's not going to really do that. And then the other thing you want to remember about this is yes, penetration is a concern. There may be some things that are nanotechnology, glutathione, liposomal, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, why are those toxins there in the first place? And where are they embedded? They're embedded in neuron myelin sheaths, you know, the little fat around a neuron. There's that word again, fat, and also inside the mitochondria. And there's a, a way that they could be naturally pushed out that doesn't take months that then allows them to function a lot better. But then again, you're bringing in the crappy vacuum, kicking everything up and causing massive neural damage. This is why during detox symptoms, you'll have the brain fog. It'll be intensified. It gets worse before it gets better. Oh, well, you don't even need to do that at all. And your brain is really designed to tightly control oxygen, which would accelerate a lot of these changes here. So again, your brain should be able to get rid of these things naturally in a short time frame when you're doing the right stuff and doesn't need these supplements or whatever, what have you. And related to this, and this is perhaps the most ridiculous thing I've read, is the need for thyroid detox. In, in what universe? Because the reason your thyroid is having issues, it doesn't need detox, it's having issues because what is your thyroid at the end of the end of the day here? It is essentially like a microchip in your computer that properly regulates where energy is flowing in these circuits here. And the reason your thyroid is downregulated because your thyroid, he doesn't just hang out by himself. He talks to your brain and your brain talks to the rest of your body. And when there's not enough energy being produced, your brain is gonna tell your thyroid, hey, you know, we're not having as much energy as we usually do. Do you mind like kind of calming down, down there? Can you kind of like turn down your thyroid output? Oh, thanks, yeah. And at the same time, I'll, I'll, I'll raise TSH at the same time so everyone knows that you're underactive. 
And then that happens. And then again, we get sucked into this idea that, oh, the thyroid markers are different. Let's directly do things for the thyroid. And then this is essentially like putting turbo boosters on a car that is, again, bent out of shape. It's just gonna crash everything faster. Now this one's really tricky because you actually may feel better with these thyroid detoxes, but again, it's a temporary measure. It's like feeling more feeling more energetic and being like, oh yeah, I got my energy back after drinking a double shot of espresso. Doesn't count. But that's what they want you to think and go through the phases and the onions and the all this detox crap. And as part of this, a lot of times when they're talking about the detox, they're like, oh yeah, you need to have this picture perfect diet and da 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 da. And, you know, there is some truth to this. I know I like, you know, tell people diet doesn't matter as much as a lot of other things. I'm not saying you should go eat fast food all the time. But when we're thinking about the energy here, this is kind of like an engine or a power plant. You put fuel in, right? And then you get energy out. Pardon my cursive on the screen. If the power plant is not working well, does it really matter what fuel you put in? It really doesn't. Even the best fuel will just merely slow down the decay of the mitochondria. So if you're solely focused on like celery juicing and this and this and that, and you're not really getting anywhere, that's exactly why because you're using an old paradigm of, oh yeah, your food, you know, really powers your body. No, it's, it is a fuel, but the ability for you to get energy out of that depends on the metabolic machinery that you have. And you need to be able to change that machinery. You know, yes, there's a component of food, certain nutrients will change certain gears. But again, if you're able to help the mitochondria out by being able to have, you know, certain factors in your lifestyle addressed, that's what then allows you to be in a point of where you don't need to worry 24 seven about your diet. Now don't get me wrong. If you're someone with pesticides that are showing up in your blood panels, then it might be a smart idea to make sure you're getting vegetables without pesticides. Just, just the thought. But to the other extreme is just silly and not going to get you anywhere fast. And the other big part of not getting you anywhere fast the other thing on my list here is antioxidants because we talk about all the time like oh yeah there's a lot of free radical damage you need to be able to you know be in a point of where you can just handle all these free radicals because free radicals are going to kill you and they're going to steal your homework and they're going to take your dog's food and all this awful stuff a free radical is really that bad no they're not because why because free radicals or oxidants whatever you want to call them they are produced by your mitochondria. I hope you see a theme here. And then they are used, we'll just draw little dots here. This is used for coordination of your cellular metabolism. I think that's important. I think we brought that up a little bit ago. Yeah, we did. And so when you're just smothering all these free radicals with antioxidants, you take your, your multivitamin or whatever sort of patented sort of blend of herbs and other stuff, this is going to destroy these free radical signals. And then from there, there's not really the res restoration of cellular communication that is actually going to lead you to a place of where you can have the energy and also be detoxed as well. And so that's why antioxidants completely counterproductive. And this is why when we're talking about these things, it's it's not really the toxins themselves that are the issues. I hope you're catching on to that because we're told it's, you know, this boogeyman, it's mercury, it's cadmium, it's uh, lead. Those may be true, okay? If you have a blood test, uh, blood is the gold standard. If you have that and it's high, mercury is high, lead's high, yeah then you're in a spot of where it's needs to be addressed. But even so, there's medical ways to get rid of that because there are 
very overt toxicities that you would have treated in the emergency department, even inpatient in the hospital or clinic outside at home. But then there's these subclinical things of where it's not an emergency, but chronically draining your body. And at this time, it's not really the toxins that are to blame. Well, first, let's not blame anyone, but it's really the mitochondria not being able to have the energy, really coordinate everything, and then that's where things fall apart again. So it's not mercury's fault, it's not lead's fault, it's not even mold's fault or chemical sensitivities or all the multiple chemicals, and it's definitely not BPA. Don't even get me started there. And so as this happens, you know, again, we're blaming the culprit, the wrong culprit. We're blaming all the heavy metals. It's exactly like with cholesterol. Everyone's like, oh yeah, if you eat a lot of cholesterol, you're just gonna die and explode. The data is very clear on that. Intake of cholesterol is not correlated with coronary artery disease. And in fact, if you go below certain thresholds, you have higher mortality from other things. Ansel Keys, if anyone knows who that is, crock of crap. Now, this is a very bombastic episode. So the thing I wanted to say with that is that, you know, with cholesterol, it's because the cholesterol isn't being properly metabolically processed because of downstream issues in your metabolism. Same exact thing is going on here as well. Let that sink in. So when you're able to have the mitochondria and the coordination of the other 95 people who are exposed to the same thing, but don't have an issue. That's when you're able to avoid these issues. That's when you're able to stop doing the, the guesswork with the supplements and the protocols and the functional medicine, this and that, integrative, whatever, and be able to be a natural freaking human who doesn't have to be reliant on your supplements and can just like live your stinking life. You can be out there, you know, running around, having fun, going swimming in the summertime, have a barbecue. Maybe invite me. Maybe you don't. Either way, I don't really care because, well, I do care because I really love barbecue. But that's what allows you to get that life that you were expecting to have at this time, is being able to have that return to a natural function in your body of where it's resilient, of where it's anti-fragile to all of this stuff. And if you're not able to be on that path and know that's what you want, then you're stuck in this paradigm of where it's detox this for that and it's no different than all the conventional paradigms of where you're stuck and you're just a paycheck for some insurance company. Let's be real. And even if your healthcare is free, okay, your taxes are going after that. That's just how things are. And so that's why it's just so critically important to understand you know, when we're going through this, I mean, your body is, a, again, the, it's a resilient machine that if you properly tune it, then it will work like a Ferrari here. All right? It's designed to detox naturally. And when we're talking about these issues, it's not the gut, it's not the brain, it's not your thyroid. It's not some sort of liver detox, it's not some sort of kidney detox. It's a whole system re-coordination and re-energizing. And that's why when you're doing all these small things, diet, antioxidants, you're, you're focusing on mercury or you know, some of this other stuff of all the chemicals and mold. Yes, these are things that can really throw you for a loop, all right? Myself, chemicals were a big issue for me. Windex or, I'm not sure if I should have said that brand name or not, but whatever. That is something where like, even to this day, I still have a reaction when I smell it because that's something that was a old, old trigger for me with all the chemicals in there and other many other chemicals as well. But the problem isn't the substance, it's your body reacting to it. Hope that's very clear. All right, so those are the sort of main pieces in terms of, okay, it's not all those things. Then what is this really about? What do we need to be doing instead here? So let's dive into that next. All right. So the big theme, and it rhymes, so it must be true, is redox before detox. Now, I did not invent that term, but 
it rhymes, it's catchy, and it gets the point across. So with this redox before detox, let's bring it over to the whiteboard here. All right, got it. And we'll clear this off. What the hell is redox? Great question, astute viewer. So when we're talking about your mitochondria, there's all these little membranes inside of it. And when we even zoom in even further here, what you're gonna see is this membrane. And this membrane, its job is to get an electron from here to here, and it's gonna take a proton from here, oops, to the inside. Now these are charged particles, right? So the electron is negatively charged, the hydrogen is positively charged, and my handwriting is positively awful. Let's draw positive neg. So when this is happening, when you have a separation of charge, what is that called? It's called a battery. When you have a battery, this then allows you to power things. And redox essentially means reduction and oxidation. Don't get too tripped up on what that means biochemically, but that's just the movement of protons and electrons. And when you have a better redox, essentially you have a bigger charge on your mitochondrial battery. When that's the case, that is when you have more energy to do things. That's why focusing in on redox is like mission critical number stinking one is being able to make sure you have as many electrons going across like that, many protons going on in there. And then that allows you to not only produce more ATP, that's biochemical energy, but also be in a space of where it's able to do a lot of other cool things. But in order to do this, you need to be able to address a few things first. So with this, you know, this is inside the mitochondria, which is really oversimplified this. When you have a lot of inflammation, runaway inflammation, as I would call it, because when you have a stressor to your body, yes, I hope there's a ton of inflammation. Why? Because that is what helps resolve the issue. It's just like when you freak out about something, you get angry, you know, it's okay that you get angry. It's, it's not okay that you stay angry, but that anger will drive you to an outcome. Like I was upset that it was really loud in one part of the house here. I was like, you know, let me move everything to a different room. And that was the outcome. And we're all good. Same thing inside your body where you have inflammation, it's a signal, but when you're in anger, grumpy pants all the time, no one likes that. Same thing in your body. And what I mean is inflammation running rapid. When this happens, guess what accumulates? Hydrogen, lots and lots of hydrogen, protons. And these are all positively charged. When we're considering this, when you're adding charged particles into a place of where they should not be, guess what happens? The battery loses that separation in charge. Instead of having a lot of electrons over here, a lot of protons over here, you'll have protons kind of coming over and joining the party over there. And then there's not this big difference in the positive and negative over here. And you lose that, that charge in your battery because of that inflammation. And that's why a lot of times when you have something, you get sick, you get in a car accident, you, you, you have all these things happen. Guess what? Your energy levels, they go way down. And it's because of this exact reason. So when you have runaway inflammation like this, where it's chronically on, you're chronically having too many positive charges in the wrong places, you're chronically going to have a low redox and you're chronically gonna be really bad at powering detox pathways. So that's how that works. That's why you need to be able to address that in a powerful way, whatever is causing that for you. And then the other big piece of this, remember what we were talking about earlier, is that a big part of this is getting everyone on the same page from your liver, to your gut, to your kidneys, even have your brain up here, and really being able to make sure everyone is communicating with each other. 
Because if it's not, you're detoxing things from your liver at the wrong time when your gut's not ready. It may have to go to the kidneys. It may just get caught up in your bile or you may release too much into your gut at once and that causes the cells to die and then your gut microbiome also has some struggles and then you have a new gut issue. So you need to be able to make sure that everything is working on that same page. It's able to do the right things at the right time because you're doing the right things at the right time that allow you to be a natural, healthy human being. And when that's the case, that's when all these systems get into this level of synchrony. And that is like the most critical factor here because if it doesn't, it's never going to work. That's like, that should be detox, redox, one-on-one. Because again, it's not just the coordination of all these things. Guess what else is moving with that? Protons and electrons will have a coordination as well, being able to move to the right place. And guess where that brings you back to? This separation of charge, this redox in your body. And guess what else? When everything's working all together in the right rhythm and groove, inflammation's gonna be a lot, lot lower but if it's something you ignore, not gonna really have an effect whatsoever. And then the other big piece of this is that as the systems now are working all together, then that's when you get them more efficient and more efficient. It's kind of like you finally get the team together and then you have to train it. You have to train it to be really efficient. You have to train it to be really on time in a natural smooth rhythm that your body is literally evolutionarily designed to function. And if it's not, then it's a lot of wasted energy. But if it is, then you're able to get the most out of your energy and you're able to have a lot more efficiency in your systems. Okay? It's just like going through your day nice and smooth. Everything's going your way. It requires no energy at all. It's just easy. But when everything's not going your way and you're like, whoa, what the heck? Are you kidding me? That requires a lot more of your energy. And when you don't have energy, that's the main primary problem. That leads to all these issues more toxins accumulating. And then only after you've done these things, then that's when you think, okay, I have the base, I have the foundation. My body is working as naturally as it could be in this scenario. Could I add something onto this? And that depends really on you. I'm not your doctor. But the main point of that is being able to get your body to where it should be and then saying, okay, how can I safely bring it to the next level? Because when you don't do that, you're essentially trying to build a house on a swamp. You don't have a solid foundation. And then that's when you're doing things of where you're kicking up the toxic dirt and it's redistributing in other places. Because when your redox is higher, then it's able to handle any of that kick up a little bit or a lot of bit better. Depends on how much you do enhance that. And that's what allows you to be someone who's able to you know, have a serious actual healthy detox. Now all this will obviously vary in terms of, you know, your own individual issues, but that's kind of part of the, the magic here. So again, the main theme here, redox before detox, my friend. And it's all about eliminating that inflammation, getting everything all into alignment, and then being able to bring that, those sort of new metabolic functions to its highest level, and then consider those little add-ons because when you understand how your body really works, you have a new foundation and then what everyone else, all the integrative, functional, whatever, what have you, other chiropractors, whatever, whatever they think is the foundation is now becoming to the top of that pyramid and you may not even need it. And that's really what this is all about, being able to be in a space of where you don't need all this stuff. And you can be in a natural, healthy state, being able to take those steps and get your body to be working exactly as it should. You don't need to be constantly thinking, what is wrong with me? Like, okay, I take this supplement, maybe that. And you're just feeling like so helpless in terms of just like, why isn't this stuff working? That guy's getting the result. Why am I getting the result? Because you're not at that level where you need to be. And it's not your fault because not everyone is really working to not have that standard paradigm like we do, because that's just something I set out from the very beginning. I'm like, okay, What's really going on here? And being able to really break that down and really have it in a way of where your body is firing back online and you're able to have those systems and be able to work through this naturally. And it may not be as quick as a six supplement or six week supplement blast or whatever, but hey, 
you're it's just like the things that take a little bit longer to set that foundation and be able to get you to a stronger place that's what's all about because it's not about a six week sprint it's about building the foundation for the marathon of life and being able to be a fun marathon not one of those ones where you're pooping your pants halfway through no one likes that but if you do want to be someone who has that natural level of health you are able to truly just go about your life without any concern without having to bring the supplements without having to bring all your Tupperware food to the restaurant without having to cook yourself a separate meal than your family, without having to spend hundreds and hundreds, even thousands of dollars on supplements or even 10 and a hundred thousand dollars on IV clinics. It's just something you don't deserve to have as a center point of your life. It should be all the things that you've worked so hard to create those accomplishments, those abilities to just connect and have that time with the people you love the most because you have your health there as the foundation for that. And so if that's what you want, what my team have in store for you for the next 48 hours or so, we have some times on our calendar available so we can be able to help you really work through this, put our heads together and see what's really going on at the bottom of this. What does this really mean? And where do you want to go and be able to create a roadmap and be able to figure out, okay, well, how are you going to get from where you are to where you want to go in determining those next best steps? And when we come up with this plan, it's something where, okay, and if that's something we know we can help with, you know, we'll chat about that. But if it's something that is not right for you, or if it's something that we think you need to do X, Y, or Z, we'll tell you because this breakthrough call is all about you. And it's a free session. There's absolutely no charge. And it's designed to help people like you who are lost, fed up, frustrated, and sick and tired of having to deal with all this detox nonsense. It's what it really is, guys. So if you want to be able to rise above that and rise onto a next level, then go ahead and go to optimalcircadianhealth.com forward slash talk and book your free breakthrough call. And that will allow you to finally gain that clarity of what's really going on and being able to speak with experts that are able to be in that space that are able to show you, okay, here are the options. But again, when we're talking about a lot of the ways to get out of this, I think you got from the whole episode here, it's not a simple fix. It's not a bunch of pills in a certain order. It's about being able to look around your life and seeing what you need to change really from everything here. And it may be inconvenient at times, but what's more inconvenient is having this date stuck, stuck on these pills, stuck on these lab tests, stuck on these detoxes for years and years and years as life is passing you by. That's the real inconvenience. And if you don't feel that way, then this is not for you because it really is a lot of shifts that you'll have to take and keep because you understand that health is your greatest asset that then allows you to unlock all the possibilities in your life. But if it's just something of where you want to duct tape things together just so you can get to a certain point and then you know, you're going to keep pushing and keep doing all these things. I get that you've had to do that to stay alive, but that's never going to help you thrive. And if you do want to be that person who can thrive, then go ahead and book your free breakthrough call at optimalcircadianhealth.com forward slash talk. You'll see a calendar, you'll pick a time, and then we'll call you at that time. And it's just so easy, so fun. And it's truly the best 45, 60 minutes you will invest in your health this year. And it's not about another product line or anything like that. It's about you and what's right for you. And if you want our help, we can chat about that. But we're not the most important thing here. It's not about us and all this fun stuff. It's really about seeing what's going on with you. And once we see that, identify that, we'll see if we're fit for each other. And then we'll help you out from there. And so again, get your free breakthrough call. And thank you so much for watching everyone. And I'll see your name pop up on the calendar. Thanks. Talk soon. Hey everyone, Dylan here. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a beat in terms of what you need to finally get your energy levels as high as possible. And then go ahead and book your free call. Thanks and see you in the next video. See you on the calendar. 
maybe see you somewhere else. I don't know. But either way, remember to subscribe and then to book a call.